I think um, bloggers and uh, digital activists or digital uh, cyber citizens, whatever, whatever you want to call them, they still play an important role now. They still play an important role in covering the different uh, incidents. A lot of things have been happening in the country now. Uh, major uh, strikes, sit-ins, protests, uh, people getting arrested for uh, spraying graffiti. It's a lot of things that's happening at the same time and it's very hard if you're one uh, media institution to cover everything at the same time. So you get the coverage from the different people uh, who happen to be in these locations and have internet access whether when they return home and they write a blog post or by uh, twittering what tweeting what's what's happening in front of their eyes and sometimes taking video or even live streaming what's what's being happening on the ground uh, but also another important role they play is debating what's happening and debating what what we should work on where should our collective efforts go. So there is a lot of debates over Facebook, over Twitter, over blogs. Uh, there is a lot of efforts on um, uh, different projects uh, and initiatives that are taking place to um, help uh, fulfill the demands of the revolution that's not fulfilled until now. Uh, it is also used not for just media coverage and debate but also for mobilization and organization. We use it as a tool to organize a protest, to organize an event, to organize a day to blog against uh, military trials for civilians, for example. It's, it's, we, we debate what we should do and we organize ourselves there and cover it afterwards.